Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel again. This is Emanog channel. And this afternoon, we will talk about the wirings of our incubator. And also, in this video, I will show you the different materials we need in order to have an incubator. First material we have here is the exhaust pan. 220 exhaust pan which is used in our incubator to have a good circulation of air inside of our incubator. Next is we have our receptacle and this one receptacle and also we have the main plug that as connector and we have outlet so that's it and ecolastic valve so a yellow light valve okay and also we have here the wires which is very essential in wiring activities we have the wire and we have electrical tape so, and we have here the most important parts in our incubator is the digital thermostat digital thermostat this serve as monitor for monitoring the temperature inside by it serves as a relay for the bulb and the fan inside our okay so let's start begin in wiring wiring the receptacle first guys I'm done with the wiring of our receptacle so just like that next here is our digital thermostat so the red and black wire serve as the main line or the main source of our electricity okay. for the beginners and for the for the purpose of this tutorial I use the color coding and so red red and black combined okay. so it's done so like this okay. next is the male plug connecting the thermostat done with the male plug and that's how it looks
we're done with the wirings okay so let's start connecting but first what is the purpose of these two wires okay so the red and black is the input or the main source of electricity or yes electricity and these two wires is the output output for the fan and for the bulb so we will connect the wires of fan and bulb here the yellow and black board okay. so let's start connecting the bulb first okay so bulb like that so even you reverse that connection no matter what it's okay take note guys it's okay and the fun so make it more longer just like that one wire from the fan connected to the yellow yellow wire from the thermostat okay. now In the black cord from the thermostat so let's connect the other wire from the bulb and the from the fan okay so connect let us connect So guys, we're already done with the wiring of the bulb, the connection of the bulb and the fan in our digital thermostat. Okay, so this is the main source or the input power. Okay? So, Okay guys, we're done. So let us take a closer look of our electrical connection of our thermostat and our fan and the bulb. So let us trace it again. So the input power supply is here. The red and black cord. And for the yellow and black, it's the output. So we connect the one wire of fan and bulb in the yellow and the remaining wire is in the black so yellow red put it at in bulb and from the yellow okay the other wire going to our exhaust fan and the same the remaining wire the black wire of our bulb connecting to the black wire in the digital thermostat the output and the also remaining wire of our exhaust fan guys this is the moment of truth so let's power up our thermostat as you can
can see guys so gumagana so it's, it is working our valve and our fan so, our thermostat is here is functioning correctly that's how our wiring of incubator is so simple like that so, it's like that guys so. so what is the purpose of this knob so the purpose of this is serve as the sensor of the temperature inside in our incubator so as you can see the reading is increasing so from 24 to 30 31 37 so this serve as a monitoring uh, temperature monitoring inside in our incubator Okay guys, now I will show you how to set the thermostat based on our calibration. So, the arrow up is the lowest temperature that we can set. And the arrow down is the maximum temperature that we want to use. Okay, so, long press lang natin. Long press. Okay, so 25.7 or 26.4 so let us set this in 36.5 our minimum temperature okay arrow up natin arrow up so 31 36.5 for our lowest temperature uh, minimum temperature okay and it's already set after it blinks okay now for the maximum temperature we want press this one long press and wait until it blinks okay so 39 bawasan natin oh, sorry again 39 so make it 37.5 so grand okay so we already done with the setting of this digital thermostat so let's find out if our digital thermostat is functioning correctly so the mechanism of this thermostat when he when it reached the 37.5 the maximum temperature the fan or the fan and the bulb will shut off and with when the temperature goes down in 36.5 or below the bulb and the fan should turn on okay so I'm going to use lighter to to reach the 37.5 temperature okay so let's find out whether it is functioning well or not yun you see guys the bulb and the fan automatically switch off because it reached the maximum heat that we set which is 37.5 and the reading is 49.7 so when it reached the 36.5 and below the fan and the bulb should turn on 
and if that's so our wiring and our thermostat is functioning correctly Okay, see guys, uh, the, mo the temperature is now 35.2 and is still going down. So, so guys, it concludes that our thermostat is functioning correctly. Also, the fan and bulb. The connection is good. Okay, okay that's, that's all. So... If you like my video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel in order for you to have another informative and very knowledgeable video. So, thank you guys for watching.